Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor, and we are in the next stage of our skirt sew along. Today, we are cutting on the bias. This is the exact same skirt, same pattern that we cut out in the last episode, but we are cutting the skirt on the bias, which is a little bit different. Notice how it hangs. Here's one I have that I've already cut, and look at the difference. It just drapes beautifully. The reason this is hanging is because this has to hang 24 hours before you hem it. So let me show you the difference of this skirt and what we did last time. So here we have the same exact skirt like we did before. The difference is that we cut the skirt on the grain line. So here I have my fabric. Here's the salvage edge. So you have to just picture in the last, for a regular skirt, we laid it out just like this. Now it's gonna be a little bit different. And it gets a little tricky. So I have two different rulers to give you an example. A quilter's ruler sometimes has a 45 degree angle at the bottom. I thought that was gonna be a little bit hard for you to see, so I just went ahead and cut this one up. So what you do is you line up the grain line the way it used to be, and then here's 45 degrees. So why don't I go ahead and just use my this is actually a fabric pen, but it works on paper too, most of the time. <laughs> That's all I'm doing is making a 45 degree line here. And that's my new grain line. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back piece. And that's my new grain line. So that's the main difference. Seems pretty simple, right? Well, there's a few other tricky things to it. I have this entire fabric folded one layer. You can't cut this on the fold. Well, you can, but if you mess up just a little bit, it's not pretty. So now we have one half of the skirt. How am I gonna cut out one half of the skirt if I don't have it on the fold? Well, I'm gonna start by taking the pattern and folding it along my new grain line. It just makes it so much easier. So I'll start with the first piece move some of these things out of the way just a little bit here. I have a cutting mat under here. I'm not just cutting on a plain table. And if you look on your cutting mat, that also usually will tell you where the 45 degree angle is. So I'm gonna take this, and if you're really unsure of where your 45 degrees, try to get your mat lined up where you can match this up. So this is going to line up with a straight of grain on here, if that makes sense. So go ahead and slide this down. I find it the easiest to draw around this. So here is just around the edge. Now this is a fabric marking pen, meaning that it will go away in 24 hours. Just be sure to test it. Every once in a while there'll be a fabric that doesn't like to cooperate. Okay, and I'm gonna cut right to that edge here. Notice, look at how easy this is with the rotary cutter. I'm cutting around and around. The next thing I want to do is just take my pattern. See those two lines here that we made? That's the fold of the pattern. Don't move the fabric. And then flip this way, lining that right back up. Now I'm just going to throw a few pattern weights here because I don't have quite enough room to do this whole piece right here for you, but you get the idea. So then I'll cut around here, and that's one piece. Now this is on the bias. Notice how that stretches. That's why I was mentioning you need to have it hang before you hem it, and even before you sew the seam. So let me just go down here real quick and show you a seam. Right here, do you see how wavy this is? That's really bad. So I'm just gonna take a little seam here and give, show you something. When you're stitching on bias, when you sew, you want to allow the fabric to go. Do you see how I'm just letting it stitch? And you want to use a very thin seam allowance. I'm just going to go down here and just show you the difference here. See how this piece sticks open? So if you were to put this on your body, you would have lumps everywhere. Now look at the difference. I haven't even pressed this yet. And see how when it's just a very small seam allowance, it just stays open like that, so much easier. So that's how you can take that entire skirt we just had, cut it on the bias, and end up with an entirely different look.